last force here is the wind. You can use the wind for the particle, for the moist spline, and other things. For better understanding that, we can use the wind for this particle effect. Okay. Uh, this is wind in this direction, but for betting seeing that you can rotate the wind in this direction. Now, if you play, and as you can see, the wind is changing <clears throat> the direction of the particles. You can rotate it. Nice. This is a wind. In a wind option, here you can change the wind speed. Very simple. You can increase or decrease the wind uh, speed. This is a turbulence. Uh, it means you can uh, <coughs> changing the randomness and noisy of the wind. In some cases, as you can see, it's blowing fast, then going slow. It's a turbulence. You can add a turbulence. Uh, the turbulence scale. It's better see or the turbulence frequency with these images. Okay, this is turbulence scale. For example, uh, the wind direction does not change, but it has a wavy on its uh, wind. As you can see, you can see it's, it's wavy. It's going this direction, doing this direction. If you scale zero, this is the uh, shape of the uh, particles. Here you can see. You can see. We are getting the simulation force in here. Exactly at the same direction of the particle. But as you can see, it's make them faster. It's not important. Uh, add a turbulence to that. As you can see, it's go faster, or some cases it's going slower. It's doing individually. You can scale down the turbulence. It means you can actually control the, uh, as the turbulence scale um, like this. It means uh, if you have a bigger scale, it's create a group of the sum uh particle and affect them at once but no, though it is uh, sorry it's uh, mm, if you scale zero it will uh, assign <clears throat> individually to uh, any particle but if you scale it up it's go to the group of the particle and this is the frequency as you can see, we have more frequency at changes. All about the turbulence is for changing the way of the wave power, actually. Here you can increase the, as you can see, in some cases we have back and forth. That's it. Nice. I can rotate it. And in this case, <clears throat> it's going infinite. It means uh, if you if you select a wind, we have no field. And it's go all the way in a uh, particle. So we need a, for example, mm, box field. As you can see, if the particles reach the box, they will be changing their rotation. Interesting. It is within a box. If you go away from the particle, as you can see, we have no wind effect because uh, the particles has to intersection this. As, as you can see, as I said before, please select wind with its field. Nice. Because as you can see, I changed the rotation of the box field without changing wind. And as you can see here, you can select it and reset transform to reset it to the field to wind <clears throat> so you, if you assign a field to the in one of the force you have to select the force and because the wind the field is child of that you can select both of them not individually 
so you can bring it here and if they hit this intersection in this they will be affected by wind uh, you can also assign the wind to a dynamic object like this for example you want to blow them out for example in this direction you can simulate force of wind okay wind is this direction and it's infinite plate as you can see they are going in this way nice because of wind nice so you can change the power change of uh, frequency or assign individual particle or group of them with a scale it's a scale up it means it's assigned not to individual object and changing it's assigned to the group 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 and group them if you scale down it means it can affect uh in which particle system and the frequency it means imagine a sine wave and change the frequency how many this changing go for example imagine <clears throat> a sine wave it's going up in the, for example frequency in positive number they're going to the zero they're going to the negative zero negative how much these waves can be happen in the frequency and the mode is accelerate force and the width i explained them before it's very easy Okay, don't worry if we <clears throat> finish the simulate and the dynamic after that, we give you a lot of nice examples. Wait for uh, other tutorials. Hello, my friends. To continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.